guys, what's up? Monday afternoon here, about 5.20 p.m. Just waiting on the Red Sox tonight at 7.05. Playing the Baltimore Orioles. Could be a revenge game. I don't know how they take it like, as a revenge game. I mean, Machado, that was a normal slide. He slid over the bat bag. Okay, came up high, spiked Pedroia. Okay, Bonds totally threw at him. You never throw it at somebody's head, really. Really, you want to, you know, you want to put him out of their career forever, you know, like Tony C and stuff like that. You know, that's not good. You know, so I didn't think Machado did anything wrong. That's just my opinion. I mean, back in the day, we we should take out second basements like like nothing now it's it's all prim and proper baseball that's all it is now you can't slide in the home you can't intentionally walk you put, you know, oh just go to first it's just about part of the game strategy you know so that's just my opinion so we'll see what tonight brings you know they look good two out of three with Chicago should have had three out of three. They gave up that three not uh, three one lead. Uh, the knuckleball over there. So what's up? What's up, everybody? What's everybody doing? My little guy went home. My bubba. Yeah, went home today. Maybe he won't be back till Thursday now. So miss him already. I miss all my grandkids. You know. We played Legos today. We uh, we had uh, breakfast. We had lunch. So we went home at two o'clock, two thirty, around there. So it's tough, you know. It's tough being a grandparent, you know. You know, it's not not like your own kids, you know. They're there, right there, but you know when they grandkids. They go home, it's tough. So, yeah. So, what's everybody up to? Did you see my ranting and raving yesterday? I was ranting and raving yesterday. Um, that's just my opinion. It is what it is, you know? You know, I'm not jealous of, like I said, all those big YouTubers or anything. If it was me, I would give the little guy... I, I'd pick a segment, uh, maybe once, twice a week. And just give a little shout-out to all the little guys. Really, that, that, that's my... That's just my philosophy, you know? So, I mean, you know... And as far as... Um, I know I had a few people tell me uh, I should stay basically on one topic... That's not what this is all about. This is real uh, life, uh, real talk. Um, it's an assortment of, of views, uh, topics. Um, that's what makes it good. I mean, it's it's just real life. It's like I'm not going to concentrate on on baseball because I know baseball in and out. I coached for thirty years. It's going to be about. Um, Real life happenings in general when your grandkids come over. Um, look, I, I I invited you guys into my my house basically. You know, you know Easter celebrations, um, this and that. I had a birthday celebration last night with my uh, my granddaughter, but I didn't I didn't I didn't view that. I'm not gonna video that. I mean, she didn't want to be. My daughter didn't want uh, that to be videoed, so I, I wasn't gonna. Do that, um, but other things, you know, <laughs> Nerf wars and you know and stuff like that. You know, New Bedford. I'll do New Bedford. Uh, I'll do some views in New Bedford. Who's not from around here can see how some parts of New Bedford are really nice, just like any normal city. You have the good parts. You have the bad parts. Um, and that's about it. You know what I mean? It's just real talk in general. I mean, you know, like I said, I've seen some other channels who are, are real good, good. And I've seen some channels that are, 
bad, you know. I, you know, I like watching the, um, I like watching Bob, um, Bob Wells. He's a good man. Bob Wells, he does the RV. He's a nomad. I guess he lives out of his van. He lived up in Alaska, and he was tired of paying rents, and he was close to retirement age. And he wasn't getting along with the wife and this and that. And they went their own ways. And he lived in a van until he could retire old enough, and then he moved out to Arizona at the RTV, RTP or something like that. Now his mom's sick of him in Florida, so he's going to be in the East Coast for the summer. But he shows you everyday life of a nomad living in a van or a car. I couldn't do a car. I mean, you know, I could do it like a, a transit or something like that. You know, a bigger van. Um, as long as it had uh, a nice bed in it, it's bigger. Let's face it, I ever I have a problem with my with my uh, my muscles now, so I don't want to be cramped in something small. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I mean, maybe if I was younger too, you know, so, I don't know, but I like his videos, I like Luke uh, Fogart's uh, videos, this southern boy in Kentucky, he does, uh, he uh, is a back road, um, I call it hill hillbilly ingenuity, you know, welding and you know, he made a, he made his custom band. I I, um, I think it was a forty car line, an old forty car line. He, he nicknamed it Buster, and he's got a he's got all the uh, perks on it. I mean, he's um, he did the inside, did the outside, utilized every inch of that truck. And they go camping. He had a video. They were camping up in Kentucky, one of the parks there. I like that video. I like the other videos, but some some people really customize their vans. I mean, they in and out satellite, this satellite. It's like a house for crying out loud, man. You you gotta you gotta think how many thousands and thousands of dollars they invested into that um to that van, you know. But how much are they saving? Paying rents twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred bucks a month. That's that's unbelievable. Imagine that. You pay 60, 70 percent, 60, I say 60 percent of your rent goes to your shelter. Isn't that crazy? That's unbelievable. You know? <laughs> so it leaves you 40 percent to pay all your utilities, pay, pay your car insurance, pay your this and that. Any luxuries you have, such as cable, cell phone, that's a luxury. It's, 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 it staggers the imagination. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Just think about it. I, you know, you buy a house and all for 30, 35 years, you pay all your life. And then you get retirement age. And then you get Social Security. And really, I mean, you're lucky your house if it's paid for. Or you do a reverse mortgage. You know, and you suck all the money out of your house. And when the money's gone, really. And you have the money to fix it and stuff like that. You're almost forced to leave. You know, I know a lot of people like that. That reverse mortgage shit sucks. You know? So, I, I don't know. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys. Just, you know, every lifestyle, everyday life stuff. That's all. You know, I appreciate all the comments, though. You know? Um, like I said, I like all cooking channels. I watch them. Um, like I said, the video channel, uh, the, the RV channels, I like that. I like the helpful hint channels, how to do this, how to do that. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not mechanically inclined to do all these videos of, uh, different things. I mean, I wish I was. I was a glorified newspaper guy all my life. You know, from the time I was summers in high school to the time I Got out of high school. I, I was just a uh, glorified uh, paper boy. So that's supported my family. You know what I mean? So, but, you know, I mean, I could do little odds and ends. I changed starters years ago and alternators and stuff like that. And I fixed.
this, fix that, stairs, and whatever. But I was never uh, a master this, master that, you know? You know, I had a brother. I had a brother, believe it or not. He, he could do everything. He could do electrical plumbing. He could do carpentry. He could do car mechanic. He could do, um, oh, he could cook. He could do this and that. I mean... You know, I mean, I got a sister who's a hell of a cook, and a brother who's a hell of a cook, another brother who's a hell of a cook. But my other brother who passed away, he could do, he was jack of all trades. You know, I miss him. You know, I was in the jam with my car or something like that. He'd be over the next day, you know, with his toolbox. <laughs> you know, so. All right, guys, I won't bore you. Just wanted to. I like to do a couple, at least a couple of videos a day, you know. I did one with my little grandson this morning. We haven't even got a hit on it yet. Well, I call it a hit. He says, no, don't say hit. He says, a few. <laughs> so we haven't even got a view on it yet. Maybe tonight, you know. So he's a cute little guy, you know. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Shout out to Papa Grizz 56 Shout out to Johnny at Blind Nation. Johnny, I'm surprised you only got one video going today. You usually have about nine. <laughs> so, all right. You guys take care. Real talk with Pappy. Bye.